That's right. Let's put the talk aside. Let's get into some action, and we should have some great action. Some NBA future stars on the floor today for both teams. The core four for LSU have carried them to this point, and both teams trying to win an SEC title. Underway with Alabama controlling the basketball. You know, I love the comments of coach of the commissioner. I think mean, the commissioner made some great comments. Let's play basketball, okay? Let's play basketball. Everybody sacrificed so much to get to where they're at right now. And we're gonna have, I think, a good game because LSU has improved defensively. They've struggled. Alabama dominated them in their two meetings. This is Herb Jones. You talked about him in the open. He finds Keon Ellis who knifes in for a layup. And there's another example right there, Carl, of the value of a guy like when you took the Herbert Jones. That pass right there. People think it's routine. Great vision. He finds a cutter. Ellis gets the deuce. But the play was created by the MVP of the league, Jones. Alabama man-to-man. -man. Javante Smart. Big game yesterday. High three. That was halfway down and out. He's the best one range shooter in the conference. I mean, Smart. I love him. I love him from the first time I laid eyes on him. He's a big-time player. What a start, Keon Ellis, a layup and a three, Alabama 5 nothing. And that's not the start they had yesterday, he couldn't make threes. I talked to Coach Oates yesterday, he said, the three ball was a nightmare for us. I think they went 25%, 7 for 28. You divide 7 to 7, 1, 7, 28, 4, and you got 25%, Ravi. Yeah, they made 23 threes earlier this season against LSU. You saw Watford's arm wrap around the defender. That's on trend in Watford. Look at Ellis right. He's going to get the deuce because of the pass by Jones. Cuts right down the lane. Nobody rotates over and doesn't give any kind of help. And then he threw a wide open three. I mean, wide open. That has been the problem early in the year, especially for LSU. Defending, stopping people. No doubt they can score. They're one of the top scoring teams in the nation. Extra pass corner. Shackle for a lot of start for the Crimson Tide. Eight to nothing and a quick timeout for Will Wade and LSU. Look at Alabama moving the basketball, reversing it, finding open people. Look at that ball movement. Wow. Jonathan knocks it down. Nothing but nylon. What a tremendous start. Ellis and Jonathan are going to do an eight zip lead. I mean, are you kidding me? That's a touchdown and a two point conversion to start with. It sure is, and where will LSU get its points? For Alabama and all its three-point shooting efficiency this year, they have the number one adjusted defense. Oh, my goodness. How long was that from Cam Thomas? Wow. Shot that one, man. I, I think that came from out of that right here in uh, That came down from way down. Yeah, it's trying to do it, right? Deion Ellis misses from the baseline. Cam Thomas feeling it. He can score, man. He, he's in some great company. Only four guys have ever scored 20 or more in their first year of playing for LSU. He's one of them. Brandon Watford right over it. One of his best friends, Herb Jones. They grew up together. They play ball together. In fact, Watford's a big Alabama football guy, but he ends up playing basketball at LSU. They've missed their last two threes. If you haven't seen much of Alabama this year, get used to it. He'll throw 30 of those up per game. And as the coach, in his confidence, says, Dickie V, how we make shots should determine the margin of victory for us. Not whether we win or lose, but how we make them. That's the belief that Nate Oates has in his system. I'll tell you one thing, they made a big time. Look at that drive. Easy drive along the baseline. You've got to cut that off, Carl. You can't get that easy layup. First time they played, I mean, Will Wade told me last night, he said, I couldn't believe what I was watching. They made 23 threes. So they yeah. conference record. Shooting threes all over the place. You've got to come out and guard them. I thought Tennessee played them tough yesterday in terms of defensively. Uh, they made them earn everything they got. They had a battle, battle to the end to win that game. They sure did. Tennessee led that game by 14 points in the second half. And the Tide weren't shooting well, but they showed they could win a lot of ways. That's what impressed me yesterday, Carl. The fact that they won the game, not making the three. Herb Jones misses. Here's a good number, Dickie. 41 and 40 percent. So either in the paint at the rim or three-point shots. That's 80 percent of their offense from long range or up close. And then about 17 percent more from the free throw line. Not a lot of mid-range two-pointers from Alabama. 
but I like Smart. I'll tell you, Smart is a big time talent. He's multi talent. He's had a heck of a career here for an LSU uniform. Petty, one on one, with a lot of dribbling, and his shot off the back iron. Smart, the take. And that's Darius Days. And Darius Days is a big X factor in this game. Yeah, he, Darius he Days, man, he goes double figures, Dickie V. They don't lose. They're 18 and 1, Carl. I spoke to Coach Wade last night, and he was telling me, he said, keep an eye on Darius. And Darius has a big game for us. We're usually in great shape. But we looked it up. They're 18 and 1 when he scores in double figures. Dave Shackelford, hot today, 2 3 so far. And it's the 13 7 advantage. We didn't get too many open looks, bro. We didn't get those kind of open looks against the balls. Look at the Watford. Herb Jones doing Jones. his best. And those two are tight. Herb Jones with Watford. Backs in right over him and he gets it to go. Good move, strong move by Trendon Watford, who had only nine yesterday. Also, he's got great size. His brother was a heck of a player in played in Indiana. They won the yeah. most dramatic shots ever against Kentucky. And they were undefeated number one in the country. Dave Schumann made a great ball in that game. And he hit a big win to win that game for Tom Green, Mr. Watford's brother. Good hands by Darius Days led to a turnover as Cam Thomas tries to work one-on-one. -on -one. He goes into the paint. Got to be careful. Real quick hands on the Crimson Tide defensive side. Here's Jones and Watford matched up again. Quick double, Thomas. Got it, Cameron Thomas. Off to a terrific start. He's knocked down six. And if you, if you got a point for how far away, he'd have ten. Hey, one thing, he's an elite scorer at a high school level. Because Wade told me oh, he broke every record in scoring at Old Kill Academy that have had so many great players. Sure have Kevin Durant, Carmelo Anthony, and it's Cam Thomas who leads Oak Hill all time in scoring. The first two guys you mentioned, pretty good players, I think, Rob. You think that? <laughs> Durant and Anthony, I think they got a chance. They could make some money playing this game. Jordan Bruner, the Yale transfer, missed his first three. Thomas, oh my goodness, Cameron Are Thomas. You serious? The range? Are you kidding me? He's shooting half of Knoxville. He's not in Nashville. It's unbelievable. His range is incredible. The NBA is drooling, man. They're drooling because that kid's going to be a big time scorer at any level. Ellis, that's short. Let's see what happens here. Do they try to find Thomas or does Thomas find a shot? He launches. Come on! That was from the other side of the logo C. <laughs> that wasn't real. Herb Jones went to the rack against his buddy Watford. Access denied. All right, we got Knoxville and we got Nashville. Where else is Cam Thomas going to knock? All-American game, Cameron Thomas. There are a million chips on his shoulder. He is a phenomenal shooter. Didn't even play ball in high school one year because the coaching staff and the Thomas family weren't exactly on the same page. Took a year off, studied hard, shot about a thousand shots a day in the gym, ended up at Oak Hill, and as we touched on, set the school scoring record for a career. Or Jones comes back and drives hard. Herb doesn't hit the right hand. He does it attacking, attacking, attacking. He goes into the attack mode. He's just a great team player. He's a coach's dream. They left Thomas open that time, and that one off the iron. Alex Reese into the game, and so is Javon Quinterly. And boy, has he been a motor for Alabama. Javon Quinterly. Yesterday, a plus 17, Dickie V, and his minutes on the floor. Yeah, he really played so well coming off that bench. He did great things. He penetrated well. He found open people in the score. And this guy played some minutes too yesterday. Eric Gaines. He missed that layup and a run out here. Yeah, Gaines had a good game. Did some good, good minutes. Yeah, tough, good Reese, the senior, knocks him down. He really provided a big lift too coming off the bench for Alabama. Watford had the isolation. Thomas, ball deflected away by Juwan Gary. And here we go again. Watford one on one with Reese this time. And a step back off the side of the backboard. 
I tell you one thing you play at LSU, you get the license to shoot the ball. They have the freedom. Kids love that. James Shackelford, that thing was halfway down, and here comes Javante Smart. Wofford cuts, lefty layup is good. Trendon Wofford off to a really good start. Well, he's a big time player. He's a McDonald's High School All-American. Very talented. Again, he was a thorn yesterday for the minimal minutes he played. Made a big impact, and already he's causing problems for Alabama. 91, Bridgestone Arena, deep in the heart of Nashville, Tennessee. As we are halfway through the first half. Next year, Tampa, Florida, and then back to Bridgestone for Nate Oates and the rest of the SEC teams through 2031 for this tournament. Hey, what? Next week, next year it's in Tampa. We're going to have a party at my house. We're going to have a pool. We're going to have a blast. We're going to have a Dickie V party at my house. Why you remind me, we're going to do it here. I won't forget that. Having a party right now is Herb Jones, especially inside. Tenacious on the glass. He's got four. It was great yesterday. Did a terrific job yesterday as well. Oop, Javante Smart had a line of the lane, and he ended up missing that layup. He'll go to the free throw line. Let's send it down to our buddy Marty. Ravi, when Nate Oates got to Tuscaloosa, his goal was to change the culture of Alabama basketball. And he told me he feels like he's done that, and he's done it quicker than he originally planned. He thought three, maybe four years. And here he is in year two as the SEC regular season champion, uh, hoping today to win the tournament as well. And he told me yesterday was a gut check win against Tennessee. He said the guys expected to win. This year, Bama is six and three in one or two possession games versus four and seven last year. He said the guys have completely changed their attitude in that regard. They now expect to win those games. Yeah, that uh, belief in his system is incredible. And Dickie V, you know this. I mean, his last four years at Buffalo, three NCAA tournament appearances. I'll tell you one thing, he did a great job. Also on a high school level, a marvelous fish kid that was yes, hired he by, certainly by Bob Hurley, hired him down there, took him with him to Buffalo, and when he got the opportunity, he made something happen. There's a saying that goes, luck is what preparation meets opportunity. He met the opportunity head on, and they love him in Alabama, and gave him a good multi-year deal, and he's earned it. He has done a terrific job bringing a winner's culture. And you know, it's tough a little bit. You got football dominating. You see, I think they're pretty good in football there, Carl. I don't think they're bad. I think they got a chance to be big time in football, and you got to deal with that. But he uses it in a positive way. And that's exactly what Wu Wei told me yesterday. He said he uses football in a positive manner. He's a great bring of recruits in on a great football weekend. Javon Quinterly hustles after it, and he beats James to that basketball after missing a three. And Penny on the baseline can't get it to go. Gary cleans up. And he knocks it in with a left. What a great team effort right there. First was a great look inside. Almost had the layup. Missed the layup, but Gary comes in, and he works on the glass. Just a total effort there in every phase you can think about. Pass, score, help one another, and be unselfish. Five offensive rebounds for Alabama. None yet for LSU. Well, Reese threw it to a cutting petty and he threw it behind him Now you're talking about two of the most proud football college programs in the country when you talk about LSU and Alabama And man has it been a good year a lot of comparisons between Devontae Smith and Herb Jones after four years That Alabama the coach of the year both football and basketball one wins the national championship overall We'll see if Alabama can do the same one thing we heard from Joe Lenardi our bracketologist today he doesn't believe that Alabama has a chance at a one seed in spite of the outcome today, Nikki B. You know, that's a rarity, too, when you think about it. If you go double in a high-profile conference in terms of winning the regular season and winning the tournament, usually those teams are in as a number one seed. So that's really interesting. Michigan suffered a tough blow losing the kid livers. That's a big-time loss. He's such a valuable player for them. I'm thinking it, not taking anything away from Ohio State winning yesterday. The Livers is a major loss. And my national coach of the year has to be Jawan Howard. They were not anywhere to be seen in the eyes of people in terms of a top 10 team. And Jawan's done a great job with that Michigan program. program. Another offensive rebound. LSU, Nikki V. 
Is it as simple as putting a body on some of these guys? Six offensive rebounds for Alabama. I've always, I've always believed that a sign of playing aggressive defense is when you force turnovers, you get on the offensive board, you block shots, you force deflection. When you're doing that, you're playing very aggressively. And that would scare me if I'm Will Wade, that my club is not. Got an injury right Deion here. Ellis. Yeah, yeah, he fell down right on top of Cam Thomas, and he banged up that left hip of his. They don't have Joshua Primo, who's out with a sprained MCL. And it looks like Ellis is going to be able to walk it off out of Eustace, Florida. The junior 6'6". Here's Primo. He got rolled over by Iverson Molinar the other night. Thankfully, just a sprained MCL. There's Ellis, she had a great start to this game. Get a three, had a drive. Primo so valuable to his team from out of Canada. Primo's yep. a guy that really can score, shoot the three, defends really well. They hope they have him at tournament time. Days in the lane, can't get it to go, and there's no offensive rebound again. Teddy finds Gary. He absorbs, follows seventh offensive rebound, and another second chance point. They have eight of those, and they're up by five. That's only one thing. You're hustling and scrapping and pulling. And that's been a sign of Alabama all year. They play so hard together. They really battle and fight. Watford fouled by Alex Reese. Hey, Carl, you mentioned earlier that they last won the title in 1980. That was Dale Brown. Dale, who did a great job. I think on an LSU during his tenure was absolutely super. My memory tells me 1980, Rudy Macklin, he was terrific. Man, they got Wayne Scales, Howard Carter. That's their only LSU tournament because Kentucky is not, let's face reality, Kentucky has dominated the SEC tournament. That's totally dominated. And all those 31. people worried down there, yeah. all those people worried, Carl, let me relax. The John Calipari would get them back in the hunt. There's no doubt in my mind. Won the 31 tournament titles. No one else is even close. Herb Jones thought about a three. Spins right into Watford. Can't get that to go, but another offensive rebound. And finally, LSU comes away with it. He made that great spin, but he went right into the defense. Cam Thomas started out on fire, knocking down threes. How about the turnaround shot that goes off the iron? Not a good shot. Days battles for it. And that ball out of bounds. Deflected away by Rojas, who's into the game. Alabama 17 and 0 when they score 80 points in the Kelvin Sampson's club. Oh, really? I would have said the same thing with Georgetown and Creighton and Georgetown and Villanova. But Patrick Ewan had other ideas. Other ideas. And what a great, great performance. They were my team of the night. The Hoyas in Georgetown. Beating. Not only did they beat Creighton, they beat him by 25, Carl. They hammered him. All right, a three minute and 15 second scoring drive for LSU. They find smart, wide open three, no good. Offensive rebound. Andre Hyatt, who was in the starting lineup, and he'll go and shoot two. Andre Knocks down Hyatt first. Plays hard. Cuts really well for the basket. Plays without the ball. Points in paint. To the bad situation. Take a chance points. Eight for Alabama. Zero for the Tigers. Been a bit of an issue season long for LSU. Keeping guys off of the glass. And Alabama hungry to start. Did a good job yesterday. That's hard to talk. This season long, a little inconsistent that way. Barely try to get on track, and he gets tripped there. They're going to call that on LeBlanc. He went to a little zone right there, LSU. Went to a zone, he tried to attack the zone by going right down the splitting the two guys up on front. LeBlanc, going with the foul. You know, being out rebounding like you are in the offensive class, you would think there'd be a bigger difference. You're really down three, man, with all of that. And Thomas got a little quiet here all of a sudden. He's due to go on one of those streaks. He gets a spurt going. That would be big time for LSU. 
Yep, Thomas has nine. The team is three of ten from three. Thomas did come out of the gate firing. Meantime, on the other side, Alabama has taken 13 threes. They've made four of them. Nate Oates told me this morning, one thing we've got to do is not turn the ball over. He's got four turnovers. And to LSU's credit, in spite of this good defense, they've only turned it over one time. That's Benny can't and they're going to call Thomas getting over the top of the foul in the hand on the back. You know, you look at Alabama, and the reason I think they're a threat when you watch them in the NCAA tournament, they do two things exceptionally well, Carl. Number one, they defend really well. They come after you. And number two, the three ball. The three ball becomes big in tournament play. And they have that ability. Where they don't have really a major factor is post-up ability on the interior with a big post play. And that really limits them a little bit. But if the three is falling and their defense is superb, they could beat anybody on a given day. They can. Dickie V, you saw Petty make this shot. Gaines gets called for a flop. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, well, he wants to win the Oscar award. Why not? For little Oscar. Don't blame the teams for trying. We've seen a whole bunch of offensive fouls called in this tournament. As Watford goes to the rack. He gets it to go. Trenton Watford working inside, and he's got a half dozen. You know, he's really terrific one on one player. He really has all the moves, good shoulder fake, good ball handling. Wow. Quinterly, over 40% from three, but not going for him today. And Watford cleans up. He really went after that rebound that he wanted. Watford's a special player. He really is. You got Thomas Watford and Smart. You got three big Thomas. And days and moments has great, great play. And he's playing his best. They really are tough to beat. He's got to all the shake and bake. Rojas on he's got he it does. All. And he knocks oh, another one in. A little shake and bake right there. Mr. Watford. Well, the big brother's got to be cheering. Although Hoosier at the Seattle Star. He's not in the annals, making one of the greatest shots ever in Indiana basketball to beat Kentucky. Good pass, Rojas from behind. It's Thomas with a block. And a foul on the floor called against LSU. We have to take a look at Watford and see his one-on-one -on -one ability. He gets isolated a little one-on-one -on -one right now. He says, come on, you can't challenge me. Play a little one-on-one, -on -one, little shake and bake between the legs. Oh, yes. Big time play. He looks like a PTP right here. Now, just a little prayer time. Great touch. He's a scorer. You can see why he was a McDonald's All-American. Six foul on LSU, so Alabama will shoot the rest of the half. Brendan Watford, the best basketball player out of Alabama since DeMarcus Cousins. He only had nine yesterday. He's picked up his rebounding here lately. And that time straight up goes LeBlanc, sends Herbert Jones to the ground. And here comes Thomas. Penetrates. Penny got the block as he came back to defend. Penny's a real good defensive player. A lot of people don't realize that, but he is. He waits over that yesterday as well. One thing NATO stressed to this team, we're going to have fun, we're going to shoot, we're going to have freedom, a lot of threes, but we have to play defense. And collectively, they have bought into that as Watford continues to work in the paint, gets another one to go. He gets one-on-one, you -on -one. get a scoring machine. I mean, you got Thomas with the range of the shooter, you got him where he backs you down off the dribble. Really terrific. You mentioned the second best player to DeMarcus Cousins. I mean, that's what Chuck, you talk about great talent. And the Cousins and Gang and John Wall and then Anthony Davis, Gilchrist. They don't have those kind of freshmen right now. They don't have those kind of. Burner had the offensive rebound, but since his knee injury, he hasn't really had that explosiveness that we got used to seeing. And that time, Herb Jones stepped right in front of Watford and he picked up the foul. Hey, Dickie, NCAA March Madness begins Thursday with the first four, five, and 8.30 Eastern time on True TV, 6.29.50 Eastern on TBS. Every game of the tournament on TBS, CBS, TNT, and True TV, or you can stream them on the March Madness live app from anywhere. It's a good time to wish our friends at CBS and the other networks a good tournament. Let's hope for a healthy tournament. Let's hope for one where teams in Indianapolis are able to have it decided on the floor instead of off the floor. 
big point for us. And we got to also thank all the players, the coaches, and all the trainers, and all the people involved who have sacrificed big time to make this happen. All the administrators within the NCA as well. I just had a call right before the game from a team that's in uh, uh, Indianapolis right now. They just arrived late last night. The first thing they did was test them, and they get tested again today. And they have to be in their rooms. Food is being brought to them. I was talking to the Iona coaches. Papa Dada Marco. Mr. Patino is on cloud nine, taking five schools. Wow, Devontae right Smart there. just threw one into the clouds. It came down inside the bucket. 30-28, LSU now on top with under four to go. Cloud Javante is a big-time player. He's been a big-time three-point shooter. Got his own right Tackle here. for it decides to go all the way. He missed, and here's Thomas on a run out with Petty to defend. Thomas the finger roll, and it is 32-28, LSU. Cameron Thomas with 11. Well, they get play out of that big three, man. Watch out. They're zoning right now. Great run out by Charlie Thomas. Javon Quinterly step back three. Tough to zone them, though, man. Tough to zone them. They got so many weapons that can shoot the three. But you also got to be concerned with the way they attack off the bounce. Rick Barnes told that to Marty yesterday, and it's so true. And also, we'll wait until that last night. They're going to be concerned with their ability to really drive the basketball, force you to get help, and then create the opening for the three point shot. Well, these two teams love anytime they get a chance for an open shot. High score so far today, Dickie Dick. Well, that doesn't shock me at all with the big three. I mean, we've been talking about singing their praises. I mean, Smart's been a big time player from the day he stepped on the campus. Watt for the McDonald's All Americans done it all. And Thomas has been sensational. So those three guys really are the heart and soul of their team. If they're not scoring, they're in big trouble. But you mentioned days. The reason we mentioned days, and Carl mentioned it, they're right now 18 and 1. 18 and 1 when you think about them. If he scores in double figures, you look right for the points per game right there, Mr. Cameron Thomas. Yeah, he gets to the line a lot. You see he's number one in free throws made. They got a three-point lead, 250 to go here in half number one of the SEC title game. Quinterly speed denied there at the rim. That was Hyatt. See, Hyatt does a lot of little things. Cuts well without the ball, defends. And right now, LSU has played a lot better defensively. I love this guy. Are you kidding? I love the way he attacks. Does an offensive Hyatt. rebound? Yes, sir. An offensive rebound. Another one, and that one deflected by Days, but out. Quinterly, the trailer is petty. He'll kick to Reese, the senior. No good. They're going to call that on Watford as Juwan Gary had really good inside position. Wade looked great delivering that pass right there. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there's no doubt about it, Carl. The biggest problem they're going to face is with the NCA. I mean, let's face reality. We've heard all that's been documented, all the situations that have been out there concerning uh, Will Wade's comments and that investigation by the FBI. And that is really lingering over them. And that is going to be their biggest concern, dealing with the NCAA. The guy can coach. There's no doubt about it. He can flat out coach. One at VCU, he's one here. And we just have to sit back now and wait what happens with that committee. Uh, I don't know, you got the independent resolution accountability process going on. I mean, by the time they decide, he'll be about right seven years old, or I'll be long gone. <laughs> Reese fouled Watford, who stays on the floor with two fouls. And to magnify your point about Will Wade being embroiled in that, the FBI wiretap report surfaced back in March. The next day, LSU suspended him. They bring him back a month later as they reinstate him. And then EFC, ESPN obtained some docu docs which showed the, the allegations against Wade in which he was accused of either arranging or offering impermissible payments. You mentioned the process that they're going through, but without question. And he's very aware. He's not hiding under a rock about what is looming with regards to the NCAA. I know you allude to the fact it may be until you're... You know, 170 when something gets done, but it's out there, and, and that that awareness is uh, something that may may cause some decisions to be made by kids about whether they attend LSU or other schools whose names have been mentioned as well. Watford free throw, no good, and it's Bruner like, who comes down with it. Like Aaron Soner as well, makes the same. Yeah. I think the NCAA takes too too long in making decisions. I really do. I think it's a joke. To be honest, with you. what a Eon great move Ellis right there. Euro step. 
tremendous play by Ellis Wright. That looks like the hip's fine. Started off this game on fire as well, hitting the big three and drive to the goal. You don't hear his name a lot, but this guy can play as well. This Alabama team is a dangerous team. And LSU has played well right here in this first half, to be where they're at. Because the big three has been very productive. Thomas just eaten up by Gary, but Watford is there, and he now has 13 in the game. What a big game he is having. I'll tell you one thing, he is demonstrating all his multi skills. He's playing a little zone right here and staying in a zone, trying to match up out of it. Quinterly is terrific, and he's he started to peak during this tournament. Knocks down another three. That's his second of the game. He's quickly up to eight. You know, he was a big time with Duke coming out of high school, and he's a guy that's really taking a little top wide open three. Gaze can't get it to go, and Quinterly will force the action again. Gaze can shoot that. Look at that try. Smart Javon Quinterly. I'll tell you one thing, Javon Quinterly, he is making some big time plays. He's shown he can play. Look at his pretty good likes what he sees. Quinterly is showing why he was a superstar out of high school. It's taking him some time. He went and pull it over, transferred him, documented that. And 8 of 14 yesterday against Tennessee, Dickie V. They were plus 17 with him on the floor. Watford can't get it to go, and here comes Alabama up one. They are forcing the issue. Ellis, another layup. They drive that basketball. You got to stop the ball, man. You can't let them get a transition. Go coast to coast, to coast like Ellis did right there without a stop. And that's the one area they do so well. And Rick Morris told Marty that yesterday. Everybody talks about them shooting the three. It's getting to the rim, man. Getting to the rim off the bounce. They really excel. Great defense from Juwan Gary. He wouldn't let Javante Smart shake and get a free one. Alabama puts up half of 80 in the first half. And I gave you that number. When they score eight. He's so capable of scoring, and then also Jones has four points, but he stuffs the stat sheet. On the other side, you look certainly at LSU. LSU's big three. Smart's capable of giving them a little bit more offensively. I mean, Watford and Thomas have been big in that half, and they played a decent job defensively, and that's not been one of their strong suits. Well, no question, Will Wade's got the way to play. They were embarrassed by Alabama twice during the regular season, and right in this game here, they're right toe to toe with. We'll see about conditioning these LSU players, their foundation, their core four, get a lot of minutes. A nice running left-handed layup by Andre Hyatt. Will they get worn down or be able to persevere for the final 20? 26 to right 37 from Thomas and Watford. Quinterly was really good, a difference maker, and maybe a point guard that can take you to an NCAA title. Bench points, that's a big difference, 17-0, and there's your guy, Herb Jones, taking it to the hole. Yeah, Herb Jones goes right to the basket. Nobody defends him, lets him go straight to the goal, and he's really terrific when he can attack. You're right about Quinterly. Quinterly's looked like a star of stars here in this tournament. Oh, what a great drive. Right by him, yes, sir. Right by Jordan Bruner. What a terrific drive right there. That was a big time move. Quinterly starts the second impressed. half on the bench. Keon Ellis in the corner got the start at point guard. It used to be Josh Primo, and then he suffered that AC, the MCL sprain. They move it to Shackleford. He started out the game with a couple of threes. Can't get that to go. Jones hustles after it, but it's LSU, and they got a man, Hyatt, ahead of the field. And he lays it up and in, Andre Hyatt. Yeah, what do you about Hyatt, you know, Carl? He doesn't get a lot of notoriety, but he's a good role player. He makes a good play. Yeah, tap him on the head, man. It's a great play, Andre. I tell you, Hyatt's good. He's a cutter. He's a driver. He's a tenacious guy. He's got the little floater in the lane. Burner underneath. Let's see that lack of explosiveness on that leg of his. He's the first guy in Yale history to record a triple double. Uh, he is laboring getting back up there, but boy, does he bring a lot as far as his veteran leadership. Brendan Watford took advantage of him there, though, and Trendon Watford draws the foul. All right, so it's NBA on ESPN time tonight on the network and the app. Back with our first game of the second half, Kawhi. The Clippers in New Orleans, they get Zion, and the Pelicans. Coverage starts at 9 o'clock Eastern time, 6 Pacific.
tell you one thing, those two guys got a chance to make it. The guy on the left, Leonard, he's got a chance. So does Zion. I think they got a chance to become really good NBA players. Are you serious? They're so talented. It's unreal. See, a lot of young kids don't understand who want to make this jump going right from college to the NBA. What you got to face? That league, the talent. They're the greatest athletes in the world. I don't care, Carl. You can talk any sport you want. The greatest. When you got guys like LeBron James at 6'9", with their agility and mobility, the Durants of the world, are you kidding me? I Maybe I'm biased, but I'm, I'm biased to basketball. But really, to me, they're the greatest athletes. Yes or no? Do you agree with this? Uh, they're up there. I probably athletically I put Herb Jones at the top of any list as he flies in for a dunk. <laughs> That's called a political answer. <laughs> and Jones with the real dunk right to the lane. Does that so well. Javante smart boy. That's just hesitation and he able to hang and hit. He's got great scoring ability and versatile do it. He can do it multi ways. We know he can shoot the three. We got a good one, my friend. We got a good one. Who's going to win the first SEC title? You got Penny, LSU, he just 19. left these, and he finds Shackelford no good. LSU, you can see they're trying to do a little bit better protecting their defensive glass, not letting Alabama get those offensive rebounds. Just look at Oach trying to get a big title. Last time they won was 1991. Whip Sanderson was the guy at the helm. And they had a couple of great players. Robert Ory, remember that name? He was a winner every who played in the NBA. And then they had a guy named Latrell Sprewell. He was a terrific player. And that's the last time Alabama won the SEC championship. 1991 with the whimper at the controls. The Wemper known, of course, for his plaid jackets, which is something that the Tribute has been season long from Nate Oates. He thought that ball was out of bounds off LSU. In fact, in the 2019 Midnight Madness, Oates grabbed one of Wimp's old plaid jackets and wore it. A little bit big, but he wore it. And now he's uh, got custom suits and custom sport coats. Hey, I'll tell you one thing. You watch a man made it on that sideline, he only cares about one thing. He's not thinking about all the wins and all the great moments they've had within the regular season title. He wants today. You can feel it. You can feel his passion and how animated he is on that sideline. Wide wow. open underneath Ellis. Good look ahead from Shackelford. Great breakout right there. Good transition play. Fill the lane. Find the open man. Up, up in the way. That's how you run a transition game. Watford finds a cutting. Thomas, he was swallowed up by three tied. They get it back, and it's Watford. No foul, a lot of contact, but no foul called. And now a turnover for Alabama. I think they missed one right there. I think Will Wade should have a legit argument there. He got fouled on that play. Herb recovers the rebound, and now numbers for Alabama. Shackelford, no good. Reese battles for it, out of bounds, and it'll stick with Alabama. Chuck was out of control there on that drive to the baseline. Really out of control. I'm getting a real kick watching not the kids, but the adults in the room that are causing problems. As we went to break, Trenton Watford went up for a layup, and it appeared as if there was some significant contact. There was no foul called, but perhaps a tip of the cap to the chippiness we saw pregame. Let's see. As Petty starts up by getting it back to the senior Reese for a three. No good. There's no doubt there was a foul there on Watford down inside. I love his hands. He goes up for a ball. He's going to get his hands on it. He's really good to get it. 6'9". He really knows how to play. It's a good triple foot position. He can attack you off the bounds. Five on the, the shot clock. You know, Smart. Smart. He's been really playing. He has three on the shot clock. Smart shot, no good. Look out. Bodies are flying oh. underneath. Hyatt landed on Pitty, and the ball goes out of bounds. Look about guy being quiet. Is Petty. The two games we've had now in the tournament, he's been really quiet. He's a much better player than what we've seen here. He can defend. Four points today, Dickie. Two for five from the field. He does not have a three yet. This is he a really guy that had, what, 70 threes this season, leading the SEC. 
he bought into the system though. He really bought into playing on the defensive end. Look right here. 12.6 for the season, average of nine throughout the tournament. They got great balance in their team. They really do have balance. Watford on Reese. Middle of the floor. He has owned it. He's got all the games himself a layoff and the foul. Trend in Watford to 15 points. He's got all the moves. He said, no, no, he can't guard me. He said, they can't guard me. I can see him already saying, he can't guard me. Look him down there. I mean, he's a one-on-one -on -one dynamite player. Dynamite. All the shake and bake, the head fakes, the drop steps. The LSU there. Hey, you know, I got to look right. I got to share. I got to share with you, Carl. I cannot believe, as you watch this one-on-one -on -one move here, little spin, little, look at him get back inside, seal the defense. I got to gripe that that court when you go to LSU is not named after Dale Brown. That is a joke. That is a farce. What Dale Brown did there in eight years and promoting basketball and really creating such a scenario, that court should be named after him. There must be a lot of politics involved. Winterly got hit on the way to the basket. That looks like Javante Smart. If you could read lips, you saw Alex Reese talking to the officials. I'm not talking back. They are very aware of what we saw pregame and what may continue to bubble here as we wind down the second half of this championship. No. Kids, they want to play basketball. I think the coaches really created that little nightmare. Some of the assistants before the game really started it all, really. Fellas, we've seen throughout the entire SEC tournament just how physical the play is. And Will Wade discussed that after the game yesterday. He said, man, it's tournament basketball in March. He noted the consistency of the officiating and credited SEC head of officials Mike Eads' leadership. He said, this is what you want, players to make plays in March. You don't want ticky-tack stuff. You want to play and finish through contact. That's tournament ball. I like that, Martin. I also like Will Wade being a real politician there, trying to get the referees on his side. I think that's real. Cool. Thomas for three, and he hits the bottom of the net. He hit the bottom of the net all year, Kraut, averaging 22 points a game. One of the four big time scorers in his first year wearing an LSU uniform. Going to the likes of the pistol. You can't leave Javon Quinterly open today. He knocks down his third three. He's up to 14 to lead the tide. Not only today, yesterday as well. You know, Crowell, he's been a star of stars. He's going to be a candidate for maybe MVP in the tournament. Watford, that time Reese held his ground, and the way it's going for Watford, it falls through. He just has an uncanny way of making sure he gets that shot off. Stakes and he nice had that ball takes. stripped by Thomas. Two on one gains, alley -oop too far underneath, but LeBlanc is there, misses the money. Loose ball, Thomas has it. Spins back, high archer and an air ball. He's gonna put that ball back to show you got a deuce out of that set. They tried to go for the spectacular play rather than a simple little bounce pass. Trying to go for the big rising dunk with the lob. Can't lose those kind of opportunities when you try to pull this victory here. Race three, corner. Gives Alabama the lead. He's got ability to shoot that three. And he's wide open, set his body really well, squared himself to the goal. Well, he's doing a little right talking. Here. You see Herb Jones grabbed him and threw him back to cover LeBlanc. I think Herb Jones wanted to cover Watford. Instead, it's Reese again, and Watford has it go in and out. Loose ball, Quinterly. Watford bringing the ball back out. He drives right to the goal. But they drive the basketball, don't they? They really they sure attack, 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 attack. That's Jaden Shackelford, and that is their 30th point in the paint. Although, because of Watford, LSU's right there with him with 28. Again, he's just been a tremendous all year long. And then tournament here, he's going to move up and down. I mean, he's got great abilities, had a terrific season. Herb Jones, steal. the steal. Herb Jones, the follow by Shackelford, but a foul beforehand on Trendon Watford as Jones, another steal. And a rare turnover today. Vicky V has mentioned an all around terrific performance from Jones. He's got eight points, he's got eight rebounds, he's got five assists, a couple of steals. And he's a great leader. He's a great leader out of court. You saw the moment again, you 
talked about with uh, certainly with Reese when he said, "Get back, right come here, on, get back and play." Let's say, "Pull, come on, get back and play. Go play. Go go and watch for no chatter, no talk. That's a leader, man. That's a winner. That's why he's player of the year, and he's fourth in the on the team in scoring. Yet he's the player of the year in the SEC. Happened one other time by the name of Mr. Anthony Davis, who only cared about winning as well. There's the defensive player and player of the year, third SEC player to earn both in the same season. The aforementioned Davis and Tyler Eulis of Kentucky did it. Reese goes to the bench. It's really been Petty, Jones, Reese, the seniors who changed the culture here. Thomas Long three, that's off. Hyatt, maybe an offensive foul as he cleared some space and threw Quinterly to the ground. Go down to Marty. We've been talking about Alex Alex Reese, guys. Of course, he hit that corner three and started jawing to Trenton Watford. You see him here on screen, the intensity. He said yesterday after the victory, it would mean everything to me to win the SEC championships. That's what we came here to do. He said, me, Herb Jones, and that man right there, John Petty, who just shot. We came here to change the Alabama basketball culture, and winning yeah. that championship would do it. They've done a heck of a job changing the culture. I win the regular season and win the... Tournament is a positive, big time positive. Javante Smart finds the net, and they're down by one. He's got a dozen, his 13th consecutive game in which he has scored double figures. Just such a solid point guard. Has got a great ability to score as well as find open people. Greek shooter, smart, launches another and buries a three. Puts LSU on top. And Nate Oak said, hang on a second. Look at Will Wade's emotion. Got to feel it because I'm telling you. For the first time ever, Texas wins the Big 12 championship game. Championship week just about set to wrap up, and then the brackets will be filled out. Starting on Sports Center at 515, bracketology at seven lsu scoring six straight thanks to smart's two threes so juan gary goes inside misses the layup and he and watford battle for it doug shaw says we're keeping it here starts at seven joins you'll be on at 5 15 dickie v i just got word be ready I think I'm going a little bit later, but, but the situation is, I think some teams out there better start chewing on their Pepto-Bismol. I mean, you think about teams like Drake and teams like Belmont and Wichita State. I mean, they're bubble teams, really bubbling. Some are going to be taking a bath. Forget about the bubble. They're going to go right in and get a bath because I'm going to tell you right now, we got some surprises out there with Oregon State winning. I mean, there's going to be some good teams that don't get it. Looks like St. Bonaventure got a chance to get in. VCU, the old school of Will Wade, they're 19 and 6. If they don't win, they're going to be looking a little bubble, too. When you think of it, way through win. this half, Herb Jones misses the baseline three. Gary doing work on the offensive glass. Shackleford falling away, knocks it down, pulls him back within one. JD comes up big with that little J. They got so many guys that could hurt you, man. So many guys that could hurt you. But LSU's played one heck of a basketball game here this afternoon. It's suddenly night and day different than the two times they played during the season. One game, 23 threes were made, a record. We've made nine today, has Alabama. Javante Smart with 15, Watford 17, Thomas 18. Smart breaks down Gary, the floater too strong. Watford had his hand on it, but it's Petty who comes away with it. Petty's got to get, he's he's get it going. Is right. He used the crossover, and they're going to call a foul on Darius Days. Another number, Dicky V. We talked about Darius Days and double figure scoring. He's got two points today. When he scores double figures at 18 and one. Who has got to be happy though with the eight from getting today? Because I'm telling you, the first two times you can even watch it, it was that blowout city. Chapel for set off the inbounds pass. The set play works. It's an Alabama three. Big pull right there. Did a terrific job. Give up that little hand door up on top. JD getting on fire at the right time. Two threes, two big threes.
Watford very far away from the basket gets in that paint where he's made a living today. Days will fire a three. That's off. And Darius Days continues to struggle. One of six from the floor. And he can Winter shoot the three. Mm. And it was also, it was also, Carl, the ability of Watford to create the opening there for Days because they doubled up on him. He immediately found the open guy, which was yep. Days. LSU has had a ton of success in this conference. The last three years, they've won 39 games, more than any other team in the conference. And yet, when it gets into March, Wade acknowledges they're 49 and 51 all time in the SEC tournament. And this particular group under Will Wade, they've struggled as well. He hasn't had much success. Jones misses. Gary's starting to clean up on the window. Uh, Gary does that really well. He really hangs around the basket, gets good position inside, and has that nose for the basketball. Another freshman, Javante Smart, in front of his own bench, says we need to call a timeout. An 8-0 run the last two minutes. We got a bunch right here raise the money. That's why we raised thirty-seven million dollars because of you beautiful people out there that have contributed. Because everybody out there knows whether a grandma, grandpa, father mother whoever losing a child is brutal absolutely brutal nothing worse legacy is affecting lives to the positive dick vitale 37 million is an incredible number good numbers on this scoreboard though eight minutes to go four point game watford goes back inside he'll go to the free throw line with a chance for a three-point play He's going to be a very good player at the next level, man. Great drop step right there. He's a terrific one-on-one -on -one player. He'll be a little more consistently shooting from a little distance. Look at that drop step. Oh, UB Brown would love that. My guy, UB Brown would love that. He used to teach at the five-star camp how to spin and how to drop step. Oh, what a great drop step. Unbelievable. He's playing really brilliant today. For point number 20, trend in Watford. And he rattles it in, stays a one-point game. Watford's ninth time this year going over 20. Thomas been a little quiet. He's due to get going too again. Up and down the stretch. They no to doubt. switch a variety of guys, put him on Watford. That time it was Gary. He took care of him. He had Jones on to start. We've seen Reese on him. We've seen Rojas get on him. And on Quinterly. And he and Shackelford have helped lead the way. Shackelford now with 16. Shackelford with a nice little drive right there. So he stepped it up big time. I mean, there's no doubt the big three right now have to come through. The Dallas is going to win this game. Big, big three to come through down the stretch. Out of time, seven minutes left. Tough shot for a smart with a step back. Eric right in his face. And it is another rebound for Herb Jones. That's number nine for him. Number 10 on the offensive glass. They've got 18 offensive rebounds today. Wow. Shackleford, quick three, and he finds the bottom. Shackleford, nothing but the highlight. I'll tell you one thing, he was really heating it up. Yesterday he struggled, but Mr. Shackleford has come alive big time here late in this game. He's the reason six. why they're up six right now. And six feels like 15 the way this game is gone. Where will LSU get the points from? And they're trying to get a little one-on-one -on -one right now. They're trying to isolate Watford. They say nobody can check him. Look at Jones. He's got Jones the on him this time. He finds Hyatt. That ball is blocked by Jones. Oh, what a play by Watford. He got fouled and is able to throw it in. He's got great hands, Carl. He has great hands. I mean, that play was his hands, his desire. I mean, watch this right here. You talk about desire. What a great catch and a jam. Unbelievable play. Yes, sir. Watford is P.T. Beer, baby. He's solid gold today. I tell you, kids out there, he's playing with what I call the four D's of life. He's got desire, dedication, determination, and discipline, a body of mind. And he wants it. When you want something, and you go get it, man. you got to make it happen. And that's what he's trying to do here. He's got 23. An incredible follow on that shot that was blocked. That was a big-time play. It was a big-time play. But we'll have quick trap, maybe. Try to get a little half court trap. I think they're going to be tough to trap the way they move the ball. Dion Ellis looks for a lane. He kicks clearly. He is wide open. Not good there. Jones battles. Days comes down with it and keeps it in bounds. 
I'll tell you one thing. Every time you see a little spurt by Zerkin, he's one for three. He did it yesterday, and he ties it up today. You know, I was just going to say, every time you think there's a little spurt, they get up six, that maybe this is the time they can put him away, and Watford doesn't let it happen. There's another example of it. No good for Shackelford, and Days, while he's not scoring, he is rebounding. You get it back to Watford thing. again. You know, you talk about MVP. If LSU wins, Watford's got to be the MVP of the tournament, don't you agree, Carl? If they right, win, I think for the victor today. goes to spoils. He's got Jones on him, and now Watford directs traffic as they try to clear it out. And Thomas. You know, one-on-one on one with Gary. Oh. Oh. Long three, no foul. Quinterly can't get it. Hyatt does. Jones with another block. Shackelford numbers for Alabama. Quinterly, alley -oop to Gary. What a tremendous pass break. I mean, that was picture poor. That was picture beautiful. I'm going to tell you something. That was unbelievably beautiful. The way they got down and up and down the court. Finding the open man, filling the lane, staying wider than the lane. I mean, where are they shooting drinks from? Are you, are you serious? I mean, you're playing a game of horse? I mean, that's There's out a tie of... up. Gary and Days tied it up. Quinterly and Days bang into each other. And the arrow points to Alabama. Herb Jones would block this shot on wow. Hyatt, and that led to that run out. Here comes the run out. Build the lane, baby. Build the lane. The flip up on top. And it's the jam, man. They love it down in Tuscaloosa. These Alabama fans love it. Look at them. Get a little excited. Wow. I feel like going give me a little right now. Dump the Gatorade on me like the Geico deal, man. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> Dump me, girl. Coming from Bristol. Herb Jones, nine points, ten rebounds, six assists, and three blocks. And he stops that statue. Oh, Petty that's freed himself. Can't get it to go. And John Petty has been off today. Two of seven from three, and a couple of them have been uncontested looks. He really struggled also yesterday shooting the three. I don't have the numbers in front of me. That is like something like three for 11, was it not? Jones knocked that ball away from Watford. Shackleford comes up short. It's off Petty. Boy, good hustle on that defensive end to get back to March Madness. 1988, man, Danny in the Miracles. Hey, Danny Manning would be a great choice for Kansas. I hope fans listen to me. I heard that he's interested in being the athletic director. You talk about a guy principled, and they need that so badly at the university. Danny Manning should be a lock for that job. A lock. He's a terrific human being. Herb Jones, oh, can he stop Watford? Nobody can stop Trendon Watford today. He's got 28, and he is tied it. He's making like Danny did, but he took the Jayhawks to the title. People forget they were 12 and 8 during a regular season at one time, that Jayhawk team. Wow, Watford. Watford's making like Danny. Multi-talented, doing it all. Quinterly with Smart on him. Seven on the shot clock. Penetrates and kicks. Wow, he's been cold most of the game, but that one drops from the corner. I'll tell you one thing. That was a perfect example of Alabama basketball. When Wade talked about it yesterday, about their ability to penetrate and find open people if you got to give some help. And right there was a great play by Quinterly to make that happen for the three. Take a look right here. Herb Jones upset about the call that Doug Shouse made on him. Nate Oates, of course, sticking up for his player. Take a look at right now. He's going to get in the gap to see, penetrate, and he finds the open shooter. Tremendous job right there. And Ellis, who has not made many shots in the second half, started the game like a house of fire. They really did. They made a three early and drive down the lane. Great pass from Jones to him. Franklin Wofford misses a free throw. They've been so good from the free throw line. Have made nine of 11, but missed that one. And Alabama leads by three. So right now, free throws become so big, and shot collection becomes big. You gotta make sure the right people are gonna shoot the basketball. Carl Jones on the way to the rack with a flush.
He's a pretty good choice, man. Oh, I see the smile on your face. You like the way he attacks. He attacks off that bounce. Look at the Alabama people going for them. He must be big by minutes to go. Big shot, big trip. Javante Smart, a silencer with a three. Did he play? Did he play? He's been doing it throughout his career. What a great game we have. Throws it down. That's something that Jones who was injured this year, both with his hand, a finger, and his leg. Lacked a little bit of that explosiveness, but as Nate Oates said, we are as close to 100% as we've been. That was prior to the Josh Primo injury. He's very strong when he goes to the goal. It's a great first step. He goes again. And that time he was off balance, and it comes up short. Chance for LSU to tie or grab the lead. Yeah, he lost his footing on the ground drive here in the goal. That ball deflected by Ellis. He throws to the head. Penny runs it down. He ran out of room. They're going to get Watford with a call. Yes, I think it's going to be on Brendan Watford. That was an impossible shot. He had no choice. Penny right there. He's running out of bounds. Here he comes. Looks a loose ball. And look at the hustle, man. Look at the hustle. He kicks it out in front. Loses his footing, just throws it up. Diving for the ball. There's Nato the stick. That's why you got to believe his enthusiasm and the play of Tennessee oh. yesterday and what we see from these two teams in Arkansas, Florida, as Watford and Jones mix it up. They're going to be hard out in the NCAA tournament, these teams, because they've battled all year and they've banged heads with each other. I want to tell you right now, and you look right here in this game, LSU has stayed toe-to-toe -to -toe with them the Absolutely. entire game. And coming into this game, you look through the previous two they played, it was blowouts as we talked about. Not today. Tackle for his team his three miss. Nate Oates threw his papers down. Not sure for a team that takes a lot of threes. That his reaction suggested that was the one they wanted. Under 90 seconds to go. And you know where they're going to go. He's a Watford or Thomas. It's Thomas. That's short. short. Watford rebound. Smart thinks about it. Then he hoists it. Then he finds the bottom and LSU's on top. I'll tell you, that big three is amazing. Seth talked about it a little bit earlier. How the three of them can flat out play. You know, a threesome, you don't find it. A better threesome maybe in the country than those three guys. I mean, come on. They are so talented, especially offensively. Winterly was on the ground when he threw it to Ellis. Shackleford with the right gets it to go. What a play by the natural lefty. He did a great shake and bake there with his shoulder, too. They come across that lane. He's ambidextrous, man. See, I could even use that word more than one syllable. What a great drive. This is the way it's supposed to be. Playing for the gold trophy. Playing to be the best of the best in the SEC. And the prestigious and Thomas is the one on one. Watford baseline. Oh, Brendan Watford muscles it up and LSU back on top. I don't care what he did yesterday. If they win this game, he has to be the MVP of the tournament. He has to be if they win this game. He's been absolutely sensational. Look at the great hands. Great hands. Knows how to finish. He has been a solid goal. I haven't used him too often, but he is really a 3S man. He's super scintillating, sensational. He's been solid goal, multi-talented. He's been a PTP. -er. Oh, wow. Mr. Watford. Stock going up, up, and up. Keep doing that. The cash register is going to go ding a ding. ding. He's got oh, 30. He's missed up. the last couple of free throws, though, and yeah. Jones has it. Down by one. Herb Jones, right oh. by Watford, who's playing with four fouls. Alabama back on top, and a timeout from Nate Oates. Watford could not afford a foul there, otherwise, he's out of the game. And it, I don't know, a little nervous time. A little nervous. Get some Pepto Bismol. Come on now. So they're chewing on it. They're chewing on it. Coaches all over America. Here we go right now. Wow. A lot of time on that clock to get a really good quality shot. Well, you know, one of the three of you take it. The Watford certainly smart of Mr. Thomas. And I would go to Watford. I'd try to get him one on one. It's smart with a drive. That ball is blocked. And it's Keon Ellis stepping up on the defensive end. They made a great play. I would try to isolate Watford. I really would, Carl. Try to get him the ball one-on-one. -on -one. He's been so efficient all game long. 
You win or lose with the star, man. And the Alabama you want to keep the ball away from him. Smart's going to get the ball in. He's going to get the ball in. And Will Wade blows and uses his last time out. And that was getting sometimes, close to the five second clock. Sometimes that's the toughest thing getting the ball in bounds. Set it up in a box with, again, Smart to inbounds. Hey, why? Why going to try to pop like his brother? He must say, I want to make a dramatic shot in a big moment. My brother did against, yes, against Kentucky when he played for Indiana. That big shot. I want to show I can do it. They get uh -oh. it to Watford, and they are running out of time with three on the shot. Watford, short, rebound, put back, no good. No, it will not go in. They had a couple of chances. Alabama wins the SEC championship.